Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marie and I'm so glad that you clicked on today's video. I am so excited for today's video because first of all, we are continuing the little series I have going on on my channel for fall. Fall is definitely my favorite season of the year, so I'm so excited to be doing this series for you guys. I do have a little playlist created, so make sure to go ahead and check out the other videos I did. But today I will be sharing with you my two favorite fall drinks. Both of them are of course healthy for you, which is my favorite part. <laughs> First of all, you guys know how obsessed I am with smoothies. I make one every single morning. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you would know because I do post it every morning and share with you the recipe that I did that day. Of course, for fall, I had to be on trend and make a pumpkin smoothie that I have been loving. I will also be sharing with you my version of a healthy pumpkin spice latte. I know that is a very popular drink in this time of year and the one at Starbucks can be very high in calories so today I'll be sharing you a healthier version that has a lot less calories. If you like this video and if you're excited for fall, please give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel to see all my future videos. I do post twice a week on Mondays and on Thursdays and I post all kinds of videos all on health and wellness. So yeah, if you want to see how to make my two favorite fall drinks, then just go ahead and keep on watching. The first one we will be starting off is of course my favorite healthy pumpkin pie smoothie. The type of blender that I like to use is actually the Nutribullet. Um, I have been using it for years now and it has never broke down on me. So if you guys are interested and if you're looking for a new blender, I will have one linked down below if you're interested. It does come with two of these little glasses here where you will put all your ingredients inside and then you'll just blend it up. And what's great, you don't need to transfer your drink into another glass. You can just keep it in here, put in a straw and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and get started with the recipe. The first thing that you will need is half of a banana. Try to take a ripe one because that will just help sweeten up your smoothie. So we will only be going in with half. Next, I have here um, three big tablespoons of 100% pumpkin puree. So let's just go ahead and put that in here. To also help sweeten up your smoothie, this part you can kind of choose whichever one you prefer. You can put some honey or some maple syrup. What I actually like to do is put in some dates because dates have so many health benefits for you. So not only will you get you know that sweet taste and texture, but you're also getting those extra healthy benefits. And I'll just go ahead and put only two dates. Of course, these are pitted and they are organic. Next, you'll need some vanilla extract and you just need a pinch of this. I'd say about half of a teaspoon. Next, you'll need two tablespoons of some 0% fat Greek yogurt that is plain. You are going to get your probiotics from this. You also have a good amount of protein in Greek yogurt. And of course, it is very creamy, which will just help your smoothie be even creamier. Next, the little star of the show is this pumpkin pie spice that I did get. For my Canadians, I'm not sure if they sell this brand in Canada. I did get this when I was in the States last year and I've just been dying to use it this fall, finally. So we'll just go ahead and put some in there. The next ingredient you need is milk. You can choose whichever kind you like. I do have here some organic unsweetened almond milk. And for this, you'll need about a quarter cup. Not too much, just enough to help it blend. And finally, you need ice cubes. That is it, I'll go ahead and blend it up and I'll be right back. That is just so creamy and smells delicious. Of course, let's go ahead and put a bit more pumpkin spice on top, just a dash. This is optional, but I also like to go ahead and place some pumpkin seeds right on top. And that is it. This is absolutely amazing. I won't just try it for you guys right away because I have to take some pictures for the thumbnail. <laughs> but I know you guys will absolutely love this. And now let's move on to the next drink. Now it is time for the healthy pumpkin spice latte. So we'll actually just go ahead and move to the stove and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, so the first thing that you will do is put your stove on about medium heat. And now I'm just heating up um, some unsweetened almond milk, specifically half of a cup. The next ingredient will be, once again, three tablespoons of 100% pumpkin puree. Mm -hmm. 
The sweetener that we will be using is real maple syrup, um, two tablespoons. You can shut off your stove now. Just a pinch of vanilla extract. And of course, some of that pumpkin spice. Now that our base is made, you are going to take a hand mixer. Um, this is my favorite one that I got from Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested. And we are just going to um, mix this up and make it become more foamy for our latte. I would say to do this for a good minute. A little tip for you guys, to get the most foam, don't put the mixer all the way to the bottom. Keep it towards the top and you'll just see how that will help make more foam. I have here brewed my favorite coffee. Now let's just go ahead and pour this in here. This part is optional. I do like to go in with some real whipped cream that is light. Um, for four tablespoons, it's only 30 calories, which I, th I don't even think I'll be putting that much. It's up to you if you do want to go with this or else you can just skip this step and move on to the next one. But I personally like to put just a little bit. That's it. And of course, let's go ahead and top it off with some more pumpkin spice. And that is it, you guys. So easy to make. Takes little to no time. All the ingredients used, except that whipping cream, are healthy for you, have healthy benefits for you. They taste amazing and they're just great for this time of year. It is just so comforting and... I absolutely love it and couldn't recommend this drink enough to you guys. I really hope you guys give these a try. I just know you will like them. If you do give them a try, tag me in your Instagram stories and I will repost them. I would love to see your recreations. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel to see all my future videos and all the future fall treats I will be making for this season. Thank you so much for watching and I'll just catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!